You want to explain why your sign is flashing like there's a rave going on in here? No, oh, didn't nope, work. Didn't work. Usually you just have to like go to the side and go like, hey, yep. and it starts, turns on. But didn't I guess work. it's on right now. So I just made a reference nobody on our channel is going to understand yeah, unless I, they're my age or older. I did not get the reference yeah, myself. Yeah, I kind of figured. On the plus side, there's baby hog noses. <laughs> These are, first things first, um, Nomlet and Bruz sec second clutch? That must be what the two is. Okay. Oh, so her first clutch must have went bad. Yeah, it must have been. I thought it was her second clutch that went bad, but okay. So this is the second clutch. Let's take a look. I want to peek. I want to peek. Oh my gosh. Look at the babies. Oh, not a lot. They all did pip though. They did. Yeah. Do we? I don't think we have to cut any of them. That one pipped. That one's out. We've got out. <laughs> pipped. thinking about out. coming out. He was, oh my gosh. You aren't out of the egg, are you? Look at that. I thought he was. No. Nope, you're trying to suck back in. Look at your little face. All right, let's oogle him in back. Okay. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at him. Oh my goodness. Okay, so this was a conda to conda pairing. So oh, we so we could get supers. Get a super conda. Yeah. So a quarter of them should be normal. Half of them should be condas, and a quarter should be supers. So that one, that's a cool conda. Wait, oh. is there three out? Uh, oh, there should be. Wait. One, two, one, three, two, four. There's four eggs that are hatched. So we have two babies out right now. That means two of them must be buried themselves. Okay, well, let's take a look at these little first. Cheaters. Look at you, little cutie. Hi, this is definitely a condo. We've got that reduced pattern. Not super reduced, but enough to be convincingly a condo. The black walls. Oh, or yeah. the white walls and the black belly. Black belly. Check oh, yeah. mostly. We've got the white walls along the belly. So yeah, you are a cute little conda. You're nice and pudgy too. This one's also a conda, it looks like. We have a, a slightly more reduced pattern, kind of. Just, just a different look to a conda. Black belly. Check. White walls. Check. Yay, you're a cute little conda too. All right, so we have to find two more babies that are I apparently think this one looks out. depressed. Oh, are you? His name is Eeyore, officially. Eeyore. Hi, Eeyore. I think he's trying to suck back in. You oh. might need to go grab tweezers and oh. open up these. Do I have to help you? Are his you... head looks big. Yeah. Gosh, it's just a weird hog nose thing. They, they don't cut the hole big enough, and then their head starts swelling because they can't suck it back in. It's like when you put a finger, a rubber band on your finger. Can I help you out, sir? Can I just make this a little bigger? There you go. There. Okay. Now blood flow can go to your head. <laughs> You're welcome. This was our Harry Potter clutch. That's right. Oh. Nice. You weren't here for this clutch to be laid. All right, now they're hatching. Um, where are the two babies that are missing? Because we have four eggshells here, but only two babies on the surface. Guys, oh, should we do the cheat? Oh, Hognose cheat. Oh, they are hiding really well. Oh, they are. There's one right here, actually, I think. Oh, you think? Yeah. Okay, I, th I think they're suspended in the midst of the Suspended pearl animation. Light. Guys, is there a hog nose? Oh, oh. you're right, there's one. Come it's like, no, I'm falling in the hole. Hi, little baby. Oh, is this a, is that a condo? I think it's a conda, just a low expression conda. I mean, if it's conda to conda, it's gonna be conda. No, quarter are gonna be normals. Oh, that's true. Never yeah. mind. Yeah, you're right. Uh, black belly, white walls. Yeah, so it is a conda. Yep. And you are shedding right now. Perfect. Okay, good timing. So now. <laughs> Don't bury the brothers. I didn't mean to bury sisters. you guys. Sorry. Uh, how else can I dig for them? You can just move over here. You can oh. set the baby. Oh, oh never mind. Found them. There it is. <gasps> oh. It's a super conda. Look at you. Hey, don't run away. Come back. Come back. You too. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you were hiding, little dude. You are a beautiful super. Nice. And these just pipped yesterday. Like, I'm so bashful. Oh, you are chunky. That's a pudgy baby hog. Yeah, it is. Wow, look at you. Are you a male or a female? Ah, uh, female. You think? That's a long tail. Oh, never mind. Yes, I had mine backwards there for oh, a second. Yeah. Female. <laughs> yep. Male. Male. <laughs> oh, okay. You are a beautiful super condo. Wow, with no stripes at all. Okay, let's see if the last three babies who haven't exited the eggs yet. Well, we know this one is a uh, not a super because we helped him get back into the egg. Yep. This one I can already ah, yeah, see, you can see the pattern. right there. That one I think is a normal. It I can kind see. of looks like it. Yeah, I see a lot of spots you there. Open his hole up a little bit more, or is he uh, got it? That one looks okay. Okay, this one might need a bigger entrance hole. Hi. Oh, I see his little nose. Do you see him right there? <laughs> yep. He's flicking out of the open. Oh, hello. Oh my gosh. I love the tongue flicks. Hi. What's out there is scary. <laughs> Are you a conda or a super conda? Do I see any sp oh, oh. I think that's another super. I think it is too. Oh, cool. oh my gosh. We might have two super condas. Okay. We'll know for sure. I would sure. open his hole up just a little bit more. Okay. Okay. 
help you out, dude. I'm gonna go like that. Okay. There. And I'll set you back. Oh my god. Look at my eyeball. <laughs> <laughs> hey, little dude. That's adorable. <laughs> go away. <laughs> go away, I'm sleeping. <laughs> All right, you hatch when you're ready. I'm pretty sure that's a super conda as well. So we're gonna get them, give them another day in the incubator, take them out, and then we'll have a final count on how many supers there are. I do have some sad news that I want to share with you all first before we look at these adorable babies that are out of their eggs, but we're gonna hold off on that for a second. As you all know, we never encourage snakes to have a second clutch of eggs because that requires a lot of extra resources from the mom, and there's always a chance that after laying a second clutch, the mom can crash. So we just don't wanna risk it. We only want one clutch a year because that's enough stress on a breed individual. This clutch here is Anomalit's second clutch that she laid this year. Her first clutch went bad unfortunately and then she laid a second which was good and as you can we'll see today they all made it through incubation or they're out of the eggs. I haven't checked on them yet. After laying her second clutch Anomalit didn't eat and she quickly within like two weeks crashed after laying those eggs. We had her on antibiotics. We were trying to get her to eat food and do something, but there was nothing that we could do. So Anomalit has passed away, guys. She was one of my favorite snakes in the collection because of her notorious baby eating history. And we have so many great memories with her. And she was just a big hog nose, yet she was handleable and friendly, great appetite, but she laid a second clutch on her own, which depleted too many of her own nutrients and she passed away as a result. I hate to share that news with you. We're gonna try to stay positive for the rest of this episode. For example, here are two of the holdbacks from Omnomlet's clutches. This is the very first superconda that she ever produced with Bra, and we held back. She is a sassy little baby, but she's growing well and she looks amazing. She'll be a future breeder for us. And this, as you all know, is Mitosis, who had babies earlier this year. So this is Omnomlet's Omnomlet's daughter, who now Omnomlet is a grandparent, which is kind of cool to think. Um, but these two are doing very, very well, and they're growing well, and they will be, I feel, a good way to continue Omnomlet's legacy here at Snake Discovery. As much as it sucks that she laid a second clutch and then passed away as a result of it. But that's why, this is an example why, we do not <laughs> encourage snakes to have second clutches. But you know, sometimes it's inevitable and they do it anyway. So with that mentioned, we're gonna, again, try to stay positive for the rest of this and let's take a look at her babies. All right, babies. Um, let's last babies. Oh, look at them. So I think I remember the last time we checked in with these, there was the debate on whether there was going to be one or two supercondas. So let's take a look. We have a nice conda here. We have, ooh, another nice conda right here. Nice reduced patterns on them. We have, in comparison, a normal here and a normal here with all sorts of spots. <gasps> and there they are, two super condas at the bottom of the pile. Yeah. Ooh, along with one more conda, it looks like. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven Look babies. Those big orange stripes. Yeah, wow. I will say she was good at passing down a nice dorsal stripe down their bodies. That is gorgeous. And look at this little baby. Oh. Oh, Look at that one trying to escape. Oh. oh, are you getting out? Oh man, I don't know what I like more. The slate gray here or the striped on the back of this one. Do you have okay, a preference? So I'm pretty sure that's a female. I like that one. Let's see. Well, let's double check. The one with the stripe is, yep, you're right. Definitely. Uh, it's borderline. I think it's a long-tailed female though. And then this one is a male. Okay. Wow, look at that long tail. All right. Yeah. So are there any that we want to hold back from this clutch? I mean, we should probably hold back a female. Probably, yeah, just to continue her legacy yeah. even more. Name her Om Nom 2. How about, well, do then, which one's your favorite in here? We already have a super conda from her. Yep, no, that's no, a female. That, yeah, that's true. You're saying hold back a female? Yeah, well, we should probably replace her with her daughter. Oh, I see. So let's do, uh, so we should probably pick out a female conda. That's a female conda. And this one is also a female conda. And then the last conda is a male. Okay, so you're out. So it's one of those two. One of these two. Which one looks most like on I like the one on the right, but. Hmm, this one's bigger. It also depends on how well they eat for us. Oh, I don't want yeah. to keep an ornery eater. That's true. Okay, so it'll be between these two female condas. Whichever one's a better eater will be the one that we keep. Okay, yep. and they will be named Omnomalit 2. How Electric about that? Electric Boogaloo. Electric Boogaloo. <laughs> yep. Okay, sounds good. Let's get these set up in baby bins. Alright, baby bins are here. 
Okay, now we should probably separate them by morph so that feeding charts are a little easier to tell yep. who's who. So we have a conda in each. We have three condas, so we'll just do a conda in each. Then we'll do a super conda in this one. Okay, and a super conda in this one. And then we'll do a normal in with the conda there and a normal in, I don't know, with these two. Sure. Perfect. So that, three, four, five, six, seven. That's all okay. of them. There's nothing you want to check underneath. And... Yeah. Always double check your lay boxes, yeah. guys. And we have space on our memory cards again. Yeah, this guy got really angry when we lost memory space. Look Aww. at him. He's so upset. I get angry when we lose memory space too. Yeah, I don't blame you, There's dude. never enough space in the world <laughs> as far as technical. So uh, just because it's a cool shot, I figured I'd show you guys this because I love doing this, just showing the, progress the progression of the condo or patternless gene in hog noses. So this is a normal wild type with all the spots that you'd see on one in the wild. Then we have a baby with one copy of the conda or patternless patternless gene, so we've got some fewer spots, and then a baby with a copy of the conda gene from both parents, which removes the spots altogether. So here they are in reverse. Oh, hang on. We're gonna mix them all up, and you guys have to guess. Yeah, yeah. And they're not cooperating, so here they are in a, in a big pile. Hopefully yep. you can tell them apart. <laughs> there you go, babies. Into the baby bin. Should we set them up in the baby rack? Sure. Emily's moving it. Snakes around. It's gonna make it harder for me to try and find them when we have to ship them out. Yeah, really. <laughs> okay, we're just barely fitting them in, because we only had three bins left, so that's why there's kind of an odd number of babies in these. There we go. There's one group. The second Two group. groups. And the last Three. Piece. The rack is full yet again. So again, this is the sad side of breeding that you sometimes experience with reproducing snakes. You lose your breeders from time to time and it's even worse when you have an emotional attachment to the snake itself, like I did at least with Omnomlet. But it makes me even happier that we held back a couple of her babies. So after holding those teeny tiny babies, it's just crazy how big they get in such a short amount of time. The Superconda here is three years old. You were a 2020 baby. And Mitosis here is four years old. Uh, she was born or hatched in 2019. Does this so, one have a name? Does not, no. Super you should COVID. name it COVID. Oh, that's a good <laughs> idea. Okay, your name is COVID. Your little COVID baby. Oh, little COVID yeah. girl. Oh, she looks super cute right yes, now. Yes, she does. <laughs> She's like, look at me. I is adorable. Oh, I hang so... my head. <laughs> And I do breeding twitches when I don't need to. <laughs> In my hand. That was weird, COVID. You don't have to do that. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching. Again, I'm sorry to have shared the sad news with you, but again, we're just going to try to stay positive. We have some amazing babies from Omnomlet's uh, previous clutches, and we have some amazing babies this year as well. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you, Patreon backers. And share with us your favorite memory of Omnomlet in the comments below as a little memorial to her for us. I would love to read through your memories of the stories we've shared about Omnomelet. One, probably one in particular. Yeah, the main one. The, the main one. She got her name. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you next time.